Warning. The following program contains strong language and subject matter which may be offensive to some viewers and or inappropriate for children. The content within this program is intended for mature audiences only. not here comes mama and welcome to inside the drag closet the interactive vodcast where we talk about all things drag and some things that aren't who knows we're really just here to have a good time we are gonna have a nice little night at the movies this evening um we've got a fantastic show planned for you and i just want to dive right into things i don't want to we're going to skip the who, what, where tonight because I want to bring in my beautiful co-host. She's busy texting right now, but <laughs> I'm going <laughs> to I'm gonna bring her right on. Uh, you know her and love her. Let's welcome to Inside the Dry Closet, Miss Amethyst Diamond. <laughs> Here we go, baby. <laughs> Red light, green light. <laughs> right? I, let's just dive right in tonight because we got a lot what? of ground to cover. Well, I'll share with everybody what I was doing, and that's a special word because I was sharing the live. So, you know, as we tune in here, folks, go ahead and hit that share button. I'm doing it right now, and if I can do it, you can do it. Just take a minute, type up a cute little thing, and hit that share now because the world needs to hear what we, what we, what we have to say. Exactly. And we got a lot to talk about tonight. Um we're doing a night at the movies, but I want to talk about a night of the news because you were just in the news, young lady. I was just in the news, and I know we're not doing who, what, where, but the news really has a lot to do with what I'm wearing tonight because I was in the York Dispatch. That's the local paper here in York, Pennsylvania. So I want it to be black, white, and red all over, um, just like the newspaper. <laughs> so... So there's that. But yes, I was recently interviewed uh, by the York Dispatch <clears throat> to comment on what happened in my hometown over the weekend, Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Um, on Saturday, uh, there was a scheduled drag queen story hour that unfortunately was uh, shut down by a bomb threat. Uh, yes, you heard that correctly. If you haven't seen the news or read the article today, um, someone called in a bomb threat to stop Drag Queen Story Hour uh, right downtown Lancaster at the new location of the Lancaster Public Library. So, um, so yeah, let's let's talk about that. You know, people are are so up in arms about Drag Queen Story Hour, and it's not just here at home; it's all over the the world. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and it's it, it just blows my mind because you know the. The politics and the politicians behind it are saying that it's a hypersexualization of children. What is hypersexualization? Right. Like, what is that term? You're creating a term that means nothing. Right. They're creating a term that sounds scary and has the word sex in it. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's not like I... We, we were reading the comments about it and people are just like, oh, any excuse to get a kid to sit on your lap? Ew. Gross. Right. I've done story right. times. I don't even let kids touch me. Like, people right. try... Like, people are, are, people are beautiful. People are kind. People are forgiving. People have handed me their child and I'm just like, no thanks, I already ate. <laughs> right. Like, kids are sticky. They're very sticky little humans. They're sticky. You see these earrings? They'll come right off with a little tongue. They're, like, they're adorable. Yeah. I'm sure they're adorable. But, you know, they're talking about, oh, well, it was it's a waste of taxpayer money. The library was open regardless of whether I was there or not, number one. Number two, what costs more to taxpayers? Me showing up and reading to kids or... Uh, the bomb squad, the fire department, the police department, the government officials, uh, all the news stations locally that have gathered to see this whole mess, shutting mm -hmm. down Starbucks on the corner, the hotel that's next to the... What what costs more money? Yeah. that 
it, it blows my mind. The mayor put out a wonderful um, statement about it, and she was just like, you know, all of the taxpayer money that was wasted investigating what happened. And thank goodness there was no bomb. Th- no. Like, that is the blessing here. But, you know, you wasted wasn't. so many people's time because of something you didn't want to see. Then don't get a ticket. Don't go. Like, it's that simple. It, it's that, it is that darn simple. If you don't want your kid to be read to by a drag queen, guess what? You don't have to come. You yeah. don't have to be there. You don't have to bring your child to it. And it's not like you're dropping them off on the playground for, for us to take care. Please don't do that because we don't want to watch your kids. We just want to read to them. <laughs> That's all. Right. It's the it's, parent the parents are there with them. It dra- I'm gonna create a weird analogy. Drag story time is like the show Bluey. We do a story time for the kids, knowing that the adults have to watch it too. Like we're not doing adult content, but we're doing relatable content. Like right. um mm-hmm. it's just it's it it drives me up a wall. And like I want to give a huge shout out to Miss Amy Vanity, who was supposed to be the storyteller that day, um, who now did not get paid for the event and is now like out money so if you would like to donate to miss amy her paypal is right there uh i will be posting that in the comments section as well um because you cost her work um i saw somebody commenting they were like well she does adult story times how do we know she's not going to do that because it's a different thing that argument makes me so angry that's like saying hi my kid's no longer allowed to see cruella because uh emily blunt was nude in uh poor things which that movie's weird we'll get to movies in a little bit well trust me but like oh i'm sorry you you can't see marvel movies anymore because chris chris evans showed his ass in not another teen movie he sure did sure did that's another topic that was um, a banana. Oh, the whipped cream. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm gonna post. I'm gonna post Amy's make... uh, yes. uh, thing in here if I can. Let's see if I can figure please out how do. to do that. Please, please do, and feel free to check out the article if anybody is not able to access it and you would like to read the whole thing. Uh, reach out, and I can send it to you personally as well. Um, our representative, our our York Pride oh. uh, president. Uh, Tesla is also featured, as well as Harrisburg's own Madam D um, was also yep. featured in the article, making statements as well. So please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or anything like that. Our hearts go out um, to the woman who runs the the Lancaster Public Library, as well as to Tiffany Shirley, who is the president of the Lancaster Pride Committee. Uh, both of those individuals also had bomb threats to their personal homes. Like, what does a bomb threat do? it it doesn't help anyone you know um and the the commissioner said something to the effect of um we don't we don't take this lightly whether it was from um our local community or someone on the inside trying to like basically he was saying he was blaming the victims and i'm like don't do that part of this is your fault because you were so adamant that this story time not happen so own that take right. ownership of that you are too partially to blame for this um definitely and people are so upset about other people doing something with their own children yeah you don't want me to read to a kid so you threaten to blow up a building that the kids will be in make it make sense it doesn't and that's the problem it makes no sense whatsoever. It's it's silly, and it's not going to stop anything. Nope. It's not going to stop anything. So, I just realized mm. I cannot post an image on our chat. So, uh, Miss Amy's okay. um, PayPal information will be on our. Uh, the Inside Facebook the Drag page? Closet Facebook page. Um, also, donate to Lancaster Pride. Donate to the Lancaster County Public Library. 
you know, yes. this this bomb threat affected several businesses. Several, several. Right, if if you know Lancaster, right in that downtown area, it's a beautiful area. It's surrounded by businesses, office spaces, things like that. Um, and it did. It doesn't just affect the queer community. You know, it, we we want to you know holler and and raise hell about you know things that affect the queer community but this affected everybody you yeah. know what i mean it, it's it's whole, yes it, it was targeted towards us but it affected everybody yeah the entire block had to be evacuated you know again super grateful that no bomb was found but the audacity to call to call um, in a bomb also threat. donate to lancaster pride oh, <laughs> amethyst has her volume up um yeah, it's just, it's ridiculous. It's unacceptable. It's, there is enough horrible stuff going on in the world. Like, for example, me saying Emily Blunt instead of Emma Stone when I was talking about Cruella and poor I things. like, I don't, I, lo I love Emily Blunt though. Um, oh, I'm dressed like Cruella tonight, minus the hair. Oh, yeah, wow. you are. Um, mm. But yeah, like there's enough bad stuff going on in the world. You know, they are still searching for people. Um, the the bridge accident that happened in Maryland, like they're looking for bodies um, at this point, and that's horrible. Um, that video is chilling. That, that just oh. that video. It, it's one thing to see something like that on a big screen in like an action movie, but mm -hmm. when you're watching it and you know that that is a hundred percent real, I I've watched it a few times and like. I have to turn away now because when you see the bridge collapse, but you see cars collapse with there's it, I'm cars. like, mm -mm. there's cars on it. Yeah. It's just. That thing came down like it was made out of toothpicks. Exactly. Um, yeah. We have enough bad stuff in the world right now. We don't need, we don't need domestic terrorism. That's what no. this was. This was. And what does it take? What, yeah. what does it take to get the point across? You know what I mean? We're blowing up buildings. You know, things are are, are falling down. I know that was an accident, but every day we attack each other every day in some shape and form. We're so we're such a yeah. judgmental and mean society. And, and, and it's it, what's it going to take? Like what, what happened what's to it take? live? What's it going to take? I, I, I wish I had the time to be so concerned about what somebody else has been doing. You know what I mean? I, exactly um thank you to everybody who's commenting by the way i have been yes. seeing the comments um we're, we're talking it tonight we're, we're fired up um That's off. we'll get to the theme eventually um scarlet Maybe. will be joining us eventually uh she ended up Maybe. stuck at work a little bit late um but her and i so on to more positive things uh her and i got to work together at dickinson college this past weekend and had an amazing time huge shout out to raja o'hara from rupaul's drag race the winner of canada drag race canada versus the world she was a delight to work with raja o'hara mm -hmm. purple purple yep absolutely a joy to work with you got to work with uh mistress isabel brooks i did i did she was lovely she was awesome. a good girl she, her eyeliner was all the way, all the way I back, hon. I love her eyes because she does drag. She slaps it on. She must go through a lot of makeup. Oh yeah, I love that hey. style of drag. Like tonight, she, doing my face was so difficult because I was looking at pictures of Vita Boheme, and I was like, oh, oh, she. This is what she does. It's There's very a, minimal. Very minimal. It's very nineties. That's a man, Maureen. Oh, yeah. But, like, kudos to her. Like, kudos to Patrick Swayze, Wesley Snipes, and John Leguizamo in that movie. They were queens. They really were. And it, for for the time that that movie came out, what was that, 94 or 6? Someone. 92, maybe? Even? Oh, God. Yeah. Um, for For it to come out at that time, you know, in the 90s, you know, they did a really good job with that because they took actors who, you know, were, well, two out of three, who are super butch, 
mm-hmm. you know, you have Wesley Snipes and then, you know, like Demolition Man and you have um, Patrick Swayze, you know, Roadhouse, Roadhouse and all the action movies, Roadhouse. <laughs> and and those two were just so feminine. <laughs> they were like, the girls we know. They really were. They were. And I mean, John Leguizamo, he he did that in his stand-up skit oh. anyway. Yeah. So, yeah. It was a I, win-win I, all I, Yeah, like yeah, that like entire... That um, that entire movie. I was watching a YouTube video recently. Um, this YouTuber watches movies for the first time and kind of like films herself watching them. Yeah. And she watched this right after watching Priscilla Queen of the Desert. And she kind of had a couple realizations. She was like, this is good. I see why they're compared all the time. And yeah. she she kind of had a moment where she was like, Vita was trans before we knew really what that was. Vita gave this yeah. up to be Vita. Because that's, mm-hmm. you know, as, as wonderful as that movie is, I think movies like that are part of the reason people conflate trans and drag all the time. Of course. You and I have driven to Rehoboth and we're not even in drag for that drive. These girls are driving all the way across the country in full drag. No, they're not. Yeah. Ma'am, I'd be upset. I'd be upset by the, the, the second hour. Oh, yeah. No, I would do it. I would do it. It'd be fun. Bullshit. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> sure you would. I would do it. Oh, I've walked into uh, Royal Farms in this face. But that's Royal Farms. That's like, you have to. Asia Monroe just pointed out there are a lot of drag legends in that movie. Oh, completely. RuPaul really as Miss Rachel Tensions. I still want that dress. I'm sorry. I still want it. It's so it's so wrong. It's right. I need it for my give up for Miss Gettysburg. <laughs> the theme will be Confederate Couture. <laughs> I'm kidding. Ease, ease up. You're not. You're Come not. Down. Come down. <laughs> Okay. It's okay. That's that's amazing though. Like if you're ever gonna do it, that's where to do it. Um, you know, there's things in history that you know that they were what they were. You know, it's yeah. Make 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 fun of some things. You know. Oh, we talk about that all the time. Like we have to laugh at it. You have to. Like you know, I think it's great that I'm the first person of color who's the Miss Gay Gettysburg America. <laughs> I mean, uh-huh. and and the fact that you're mixed makes it even more beautiful. Right. right. <laughs> Just call me Mason Dixie. <laughs> Dixie Mason. Dixie's Mason. Oh, that's that's cute. I like that. I like that. A Sabrina White has a gown like that. Oh, gonna Is be she really. Phone calls. <sighs> Oh, I love her. She's my favorite. Right. I'm looking at the list of cameos in um, uh, Tu Wong Fu. Stalker Channing. Stalker Channing. Just amazing as Carol Ann. Um, But, like, the drag performers in this. Joey Arias, Lady Kateria, Misunderstood, Candace Kane, Coco Peru, Hedda Lettuce, Lady Bunny, Quentin Crisp, like just remarkable legendary legendary ah uh, i was obsessed with that movie oh god yeah i can quote it from start to finish right i no, I, no. I it was so funny i was putting this look together and i was just like it's close if you don't think about the details because she had white around her her neckline and she had a big white flower. I'm like, calm down. This wig's also a mullet that Vita did not have. Yes. Come on, <laughs> mullet. I, I can't. I love I me a know, mullet. I don't know where this wig came from. It works for the look. It does, Like, it's weird. It's just, it's right. It's just right. <laughs> Vicky, it's still nice. give y'all so many props. Um to y'all and your makeup that drive from our episode when we did their makeovers was pretty much crying the makeup the whole way home oh yeah 
<laughs> that was a fun night. I love it. That was good. <laughs> right. Michelle says, list all the LGBTQ movies. It would be nice to know them all. Oh, that would take a long friggin' time. <laughs> like, I picked out... um. I picked out images of some, like we've been talking about Tu Wong Fu quite a bit. Um, mm -hmm. uh, Priscilla, Queen of the Desert. I That's another movie I was obsessed with. The Priscilla, Queen of the Desert musical looks oh, for God's so sakes. good. Is that new? It came out, it's, it's pre-COVID, so nobody knows. Okay. <laughs> Time doesn't exist before COVID. Um, I've never heard of it. Let me see if I can find, because the soundtrack for it is just ridiculous. Because um, it's a musical that's all cover songs. It's a jukebox musical. Okay. Um, Never Been to Me, What's Love Got to Do With It, Don't Leave Me This Way, Venus, Go West, Say a Little Prayer, I Love the Nightlife, Color My World, I Will Survive, Thank God I'm a Country Boy, A Fine Romance, Shake Your Groove Thing, Pop Music, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, Hot Stuff, MacArthur Park, Boogie Wonderland, The Morning After, Always On My Mind, Confide In Me, and it ends with We Belong, and a medley of Finally, Shake Your Groove Thing, Hot Stuff, I Love the Nightlife, and I Will Survive. That's, a, that's gay. But it changes based on the country <laughs> they performed in. Like, oh my God, it's, it's just, I would love to see a theater around here do it, but there's no way, no way. Like my favorite part, I've watched some of the backstage features of it and the quick changes the performers do, they all have a little silicone, like they have silicone masks that already have the makeup on them and their lashes. So they literally go That's in, insane. put on, oh yeah, it's bonkers. That's I wanna insane. Do it. I want right? one because I could get in and out of drag a lot faster. Oh, completely. That's a show, like, I look at that show and I'm just like, who would I want to play? Like, I feel like I would be Mitzi, but I want, and I know it's problematic for me to say this, I want to play Bernadette. Why? Like I would Is love to play Bernadette because she's a trans woman. Um, although the role has not well uh, in the UK, Australia, the role has typically been played by a cis man. So it would be nice to see a trans woman play that role, but it's such a good role. Yeah. Did you see you the could movie? Have an turd. <laughs> what are you saying? Is this an abaturd? Did you see the movie Midnight in the Garden of Good and Evil? It has such powerful trans women in that movie, and it took place in the late 70s. Lady I Chablis. Have, Lady Chablis. I have never actually seen it. Oh, it's so good. It is? I'm going to have to. It is very good. Yes. Um, I know, uh, um, I think it's York Pride is doing a movie night coming up, and they're going to see uh, Next Goal Wins. Um, yes. Derek and I watched <laughs> that one night. That movie is fantastic. Is it? It talks, it talks about Fafafine, which is um, basically the third gender in uh, Polynesian. Um, oh, I forget the exact Pacific Island uh, group that it is part of but they handle it so well and it's a true story um all right it talks about a girl on an all men's uh football team and she's just she's amazing um, wow. yeah and they have a a a trans actress playing her um and now she now the woman is actually a coach oh really yeah um, That's awesome, and it's it's so well done because it's Taika Waititi, so it does it with a sense of humor. Okay. Um. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yep. Oh, Caden just yeah. pointed out something. 
Rent is also very good, but eye-opening LGBTQ plus movie musical set during the AIDS pandemic. Uh, it's absolutely heartbreaking, but a beautiful movie. One hundred percent agree. Yeah. Um, rent is rent is why I do drag. Like, Angel Angel was everything. Come on, Angel. Right. Um. Oh, Daniel pointed out Eric American Samoa is where they're from. Yep. Um, okay. But yeah, like um, Rent, such a good movie. Such a good mm. soundtrack. <laughs> yeah. What's your favorite uh, drag-related movie? It's always been Too Wong Fu. Yeah. Yeah. It's always been Too Wong Fu. I saw that long before I saw Priscilla. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, Too Wong Fu was definitely my first drag movie. Definitely the one I, I watched a hundred million thousand times over and over and over and over and over. So that was always my my drag movie was Too Wong Fu. Yep. Thanks, I love Julie it. Because, yeah, I love it because it has a sense of humor and it makes you laugh. Yes. Speaking of laughing, we've got Divas Down Under coming up in just a few weeks. <laughs> did you see what I did uh -huh. there? Uh-huh. <laughs> That's right. We are doing our side-splitting comedy drag show. That's right. We're going to make you laugh all night with Amethyst Diamond, Katerina Couture, Eileen O'Brennan, Poison, Jay Devere, and Chastity Vane. That'll be April 5th oh. at 10.30. Uh, tickets are $15 for general admission. VIP is already sold out. So oh. get those tickets ASAP because you don't want to say you don't yeah, want to miss kinda... it because a lot of us will be doing things that, that we we don't normally do. <laughs> I I'm trying to do all new numbers that night. I'm not like <laughs> yeah. Well, You're... I guess I, I am doing one. So yeah. yeah. You're doing one that I do a lot, and I can't. Uh, I want to see you do it. It'll be my first time doing it. I was I was like, why not? I'll try which it is out. Fun which is funny because you did the mix. I did the mix and gave it to you. <laughs> right. I'm so excited about that. Yeah, everybody, let us know what your favorite uh, drag-related movies are. We got um, a lot for Birdcage and Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah. Let's, let's talk about yeah. the Birdcage for a moment, because that movie yes. is so good. Stop it, this thing. Like, oh. every... Every couple with a drag queen in it can see themselves in that movie. Right. Like that, that's me and Derek. Is it? Are you Armand? Are you Nathan Lane? Uh, well, it depends on the moment because like we, <laughs> we bounce back and forth. I love it. Oh, and Gene Hackman in drag. Oh, she would. She was, she looked fantastic. She was a very handsome woman. <laughs> she was a handsome woman. <laughs> handsome. Oh, and who played his wife? What was her name? Uh, it's right on the tip uh, of my tongue. Lane. Lane. Diane Something Weist. Lane. That Lane? too. Lane, Lane. Her in drag no. was amazing. I know. She's so sweet. I, I love her as a character and as an actress. Yep. Oh, oh so much going talk, on in the world. Yeah. Let's talk Mrs. Doubtfire for a minute. Talk about drag story time. Right? How about yeah. the, the, the OG of drag time right there? Exactly. Especially at the end. Um, I, I think everybody related to Mrs. Doubtfire in many ways. Um, it it hurts me to know how successful that movie was and and still is and still very relevant today. Um, to only get flack from the same people who enjoyed it when yeah. it's reality. Exactly. You know what I mean? Everybody loved to see Robin Williams turn himself into a woman and be very entertaining and babysit children, mind you, his own, but they didn't know that. You know what I mean? So, yeah. What, what's well, the difference and, now? 
it's it's politicized you know we i think it's all i think it's clapback i think it's we have um marriage equality we have you know people being recognized like be, being able to change their gender markers that's too much for some people so now we're getting the 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 pendulum swinging back and they're just like no 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 you've too much you're asking for too much uh jordan klepper has a great video of him asking uh at like a trump rally or something asking a woman do you think gay marriage should be legal and she's like oh no they're asking for too much and he's like too much yeah they want more when you say more, do you mean equal? And she's like, yeah, they want what I have. And that's that's too much. And he's like, no, I'm sorry. That's the wrong answer. Thank you. Ouch. Yeah. Ouch. Oh, I'm sorry. We want equality. We want the same that you have. No, that's too much. Okay. We'll get ready, honey, because there's going to be a lot of extra, extra read more about it uh, yeah. in the future. <laughs> yeah. So. Please just, reference it, Stonewall, 1969. <laughs> huh. That, like, you can only... About it. People only bend so far before they break. And sometimes breaking is not what you want to happen. And some of um, us are very flexible, but don't push it. That. Not me. Well, I'm not. And while I was at Dickinson, we talked about the, the bomb threat and... You know, I I was part of the Q and A session, and I had a moment where I was just like, I refuse to be scared, but it wasn't aimed at me. It was aimed at my community, but I'm not the one who received the bomb threat. That's why I'm like, please support Amy. You know, she's she's going through it. You know, support Tiffany. She got a bomb threat. Like, and hopefully these people never do anything about it. But the sheer thought of it is horrifying. Like right. it's, like, it's almost it, it's almost like they know they'll get away with it because you can't you can't call a bluff bar. Yeah. Not not when children are in, involved, not when anybody's involved, for that matter, but especially when children are not involved. It's not like they could have just been like, oh, they're just kidding. You know, obviously yeah. they have to follow protocol. They 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 can't allow that to still go on for for the sheer chance that it might be real. It's not real. No, they don't have they don't have the balls. Yeah. Bad pun, whatever, but they don't. They don't. They know that they will have to shut something down if somebody does something like that. They don't have the balls. Yeah. And if they so, have the balls, they they realize they're more of the problem. Right. Like. Right. You, you're going to stop one drain from we reading to 75 children? So, so you're going to call it a bomb threat? Golf. I'm going to say something controversial yet, Brave. These are the same a-holes that kept on saying, but all lives matter. Yeah, all lives matter, right? Hashtag all lives. Right. Girl, bye. Why are we only... Ugh, stupid. It's all stupid. Girl, bye. Uh, Next. Tiffany pointed out it's something like... It's, about their it's not about exactly. the children. It's about the agenda. Girl, bye. Not you, Tiffany. Them. <laughs> Love yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, Tiffany, you're incredible. You're amazing. <clears throat> keep keep your chin up. We know this. This sucks. Let's talk about movie. Uh, I see a conversation happening in the in the chat is about Victor Victoria. I always forget no, I, about I, Victor I, Victoria. Right, and I, I've never seen that one. I, I know everything about it, but I've never seen yep. it. I've never watched that one. Uh -uh. One of my bucket list numbers to perform is Le Jazz Hot. Because Julie okay. Andrews just looks so good in it. Um, yeah. Julie Andrews plays a woman pretending to be a man who does drag. She's a, a woman pretending to be a man pretending to be a woman. Yeah. And it's it's so clever, um, right? Uh, Leslie Ann Warren is in it, and she's just she. It's it's such a good movie. Um, 
th there's been so much drag in, in in a wide range of history and movies that a lot of people don't realize. One of the biggest ones people don't realize, you love the movie Hook, right? Well, Glenn Close was in that movie as a man. And you yep. didn't even know it. You didn't even know it. Glenn Close was a man in the movie Hook with Robin Williams. You didn't the even know. Look at it's locked in the the chest. Is Glenn Close? Is Glenn Close? Didn't even know it. She played a man in another movie too. No shame, but she's really she, she's a handsome one. <laughs> and she really is, and she uh, the mystery of Edward Edwin Drood. And she just incredible, incredible. Uh, Jess just pointed out Tootsie. Tootsie, Dustin Hoffman, exactly. Yep, that exactly. Family Guy does an entire episode that's basically a parody of Tootsie, and it's so oh, really? good. Uh, he gets uh cast in Jolly Farm as um, oh, Stewie. Oh yeah, like, <laughs> I, I have seen those. It's so good. I'm Desmond Sunflower, and I'm a boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, I'm a lady it, Exactly, it's hilarious. Um, what other movies can we talk about? Um, a movie Derek pointed it out in the chat earlier. Cherry Pop. I haven't seen that one either. Oh my God, you will cackle. Because if you ever want to know what it's like backstage at a drag show, watch Cherry Pop. Oh, really? It's so um, Tempest Du Jour, I forget her character's name, but she's the grand dame. She's the house queen who's been there. She has her own dressing room and she just, she doesn't know if she could go on tonight. And it's awful. Um, Bob the drag queen plays uh, the the hostess of the show, Miss Kitten with oh a whip. God. Yep. So Which this is was, uh, after Drag Race. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Um. She's she's the ho show hostess. Latrice Royale plays uh, Terry. That guy that comes, that straight guy that comes to every drag show, because those are his girls. Oh my God. It's so good. And, like, of course Latrice plays that part. Um, yeah, of course she does. Right? And it's uh, Mayhem Miller and Detox play, I want to look up their names, because they're just so cherry pop. Um, the, the names they have in this movie are so ridiculous. Um, yeah, Mayhem yeah. Miller plays Blanquisha and Detox plays White Chocolate. <laughs> that's fitting. That, that's fitting. Yeah. And it's that's great because we funny. all know those girls. Right. Um, Aluja plays Deluja. What was that? Cool. They used to be local girls just like us. <laughs> exactly. Uh, Raja O'Hara and I talked about that because we had someone oh, really? come up during our Q&A that was like, how do we get to see you perform more? And she was like, go to local shows because everybody that was on Drag Race, more or less, has done local shows. So you never know who's going to be that next celebrity you know, and don't put down the local shows. And like, I was, I was very thrilled to just sit here and hear her say that. Um, Cause she was like the one sitting beside me, she's been in the game 15 years, professional. And I was like, thank Good. you. Appreciate that. Um, you know, Jade, I think we need, we need a spinoff show. Uh -oh. of Inside the drive. I think we're, you want to do a cooking show? Wouldn't that be fun? No, we could call it inside the kitchen cupboard. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. What you eating? <laughs> we'll have to get um, Haley Hemroyd to pop in at some point. Oh my God! Yes, yes. Sorry, Joey, that was for you. 
<laughs> Hutches has been what? watching. I love it. Oh, gotcha. Caden wants to see us it's do a cooking show. Well, well, we are going to have, a, we'll have another um, mukbang coming up soon. Oh my goodness. What is the date for that? April 24th. We will all be here be having some delicious desserts from Choco L'Amour. God, I'm not going to eat that week. <laughs> right. Oh I'm going to eat so much that day. Oh, Lord have mercy. Oh, thanks, Anita. This look is severe. You know, it was a say something hat day. Yeah. <laughs> I, I love it. Right. Here, here's another drag movie that doesn't get the, like, the original premise of the movie has changed over the years. The Queen about the New York pageant oh, yeah. scene in the late 60s. That is really good. And honestly, I just recently watched that. In fact, I think Belladonna was originally introduced me to that movie. We watched it uh -huh. the one time. Yeah, mm -hmm. that is really good. If you want to see some history in the drag scene, especially in the New York drag scene, that, that's a really, that's a good movie. Yeah. Paris is burning. Same thing. It's, it, let's just talk about Pose. Like, I know it's not a movie, but like, Pose is such a good series. I think I lost her. No, you there. didn't. I'm right here. Oh, okay. My computer is acting weird. I don't know what's going on. What are we going to um, talk about? I said Paris is burning, and then it went out. Oh, gotcha. Um, Paris is burning. Um, it's not a movie, but Pose, the whole oh, series. Man. That's it's it beautiful. Talks about, it talks about drag. It talks about um, the trans experience. Um, yeah. But it's just... <laughs> Derek just pointed out, Ronald Reagan was in a World War II movie about military drag shows called This is the Army in 1943. Yep, Ronald right. Reagan was in drag. Hello, Ronnie. Oh, yeah. Oh, poor <laughs> Vicky Nancy, pointed out, man. MASH. MASH. Bugs yep. Bunny. Hell. Bugs Bunny. Drag has been around since, you know, the ancient Greeks. Shakespeare. Shakespeare. Um, the ladies weren't always allowed to do things. So who do you think played the ladies? Exactly. Well, and if you look at it, like, if you look, read Romeo and Juliet, they never kiss. There's a reason. There's no kissing in Shakespeare. Huh. Yeah. Everything happens after the fact or before the fact, but... Yep. Oh, they should have. Now I'm interested in Shakespeare. That's kinky. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. It's just... Oh, Eve just posted that they are, um, the Trans Tech Summit is starting tomorrow and they'll be presenting at it. Angelica Ross started that. Uh, she is the founder of Trans Tech. Yeah, she's stepping back from performing. So those who don't know who Angelica Ross is, she was one of, she played Candy on Pose. Um, and she is stepping more into the world of activism, which is fantastic. Good. Good. Drag is drag is there, folks. Drag is everywhere. You it know. Is. As much um, as we hate to admit it, it's very political. Yeah. I just I <laughs> I'm I'm sick of my existence being political. I'm sick of my existence being on in, at the dinner table of people who I don't know. Yeah, I, like I, people that aren't in my life. Like he, it's always not the your people. business. I don't I don't agree with gay people you don't know gay people and if you do they're afraid of you so you don't know that this person is gay like uh, it's just dumb it's just i it don't is understand dumb. it's dumb and it, it's like that's why i keep saying like at what point is enough is enough at what point are we going to say you know what 
you know, and it's it's sad because history does repeat itself, and the button's going to get pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed, and then something bad is going to happen, and everybody's going to be like, "Well, we told you so." Like it's just dumb. Yeah, it's just dumb. If people could just stop being dumb, I'd greatly appreciate it. Thank you so very much. <laughs> I I saw a great quote recently, and it was about all of these like banning books in schools and getting when was the last time someone banning books on the right side of history yeah like oh i don't like what's in that book then don't read it then don't read it hon you can't read anyway so keep your head in the sand oh my god we could we could just have an angry night and a lot of these 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 children aren't being read to by their children anyway. It's here, take this tablet, take this phone, go do something. You know what I mean? You're oh. not even reading to your kids, and you have somebody who's willing to do so that happens to be a character who happens to be a drag person. It's off. We when we were in Orlando, one of the weirdest things we had experienced was like kids at Disney World on their tablets, and I understand there is a a need for some sensory stimulation you're at disney world we were at oga's cantina at galaxy's edge standing at the bar having our drinks and there was like an eight-year-old right beside derek on their tablet and i'm like you're you... i have an issue with a kid at a bar but like i i don't know um that was weird for me but like why would you bring your tablet to Disney World? Like, to Disney. You're, <laughs> like, I just, I don't, I don't know. I, I, is there not enough sensory stimulation there? Like, seriously, it's um, Disney. Like, exactly. But that's not Alize, my business. Yeah, Alize just pointed something great out. They want us all to leave very live very gray lives where we all dress the same and do the same things but they aren't seeing what the real issues are in the world that actually needs to be fixed that's true it's so true um there were with the the bridge collapse recently people are like well i'm gonna blame biden because of infrastructure and blah 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 he passed a bill for two billion dollars i think i think it was two billion dollars um to help with stuff like that so while you're blaming him your facts are wrong like and they're going to come in handy as of recent yeah so it's like yeah. there's an election this year or something it, it is and thank goodness i'll clear some space on my friends list yet again oh yeah i let, let I, it take itself out i dropped someone that i had known for 25 years more than 25 years um we were somebody posted a meme that was basically like i get the point of the meme it was here's how many women have given birth zero men have given birth so men should not be legislating women's bodies i get it somebody pointed right. out trans men can give birth too um and then the next comment was they're not men if they don't have the right apparatus they're not men and i'm like oh you can shut the hell up like, Plumbing doesn't decipher the gender. Exactly. Uh, and she was just kind of like, no, they can live their life however they want, but they're not men. And I'm like, you're a shitty person. Um, Thank you for the unsolicited opinion we nobody's asking for. Yeah. Her, her defense at the end of it was, there is only one person who can judge me. I'm like, oh, you're going to the, the, the God thing. Good for and, you. And boy, will he ever yep good luck i wish Love. you the best in your life bye yep josh pointed out kudos to our secretary of transportation a proud gay man in a big position like that yeah and he gets oh, enough pete, people right? talk about it yep pete Buttigieg. buddha who <laughs> Buttigieg. who are buddha judge <laughs> girl <laughs> Who yeah, are like, judge? It, it, I would I would not want to be a politician in today's climate because like no matter what you do, people are just like you're terrible, you're awful, you're a horrible person. 
give me give me reasons don't just yell it like we're in a culture where i'm yelling louder which makes me right no no it really doesn't nothing's based off facts anymore either it's just it's just all opinionated and a lot of it is religion-based opinion as well yeah. you know it's fine and well but it it just it's the religious groups that that don't make any sense to me you know what i mean and, and i i was brought up in church you know i was brought up in in a protestant religion you know what i mean and and while i don't claim to be a religious person i am an extremely spiritual person you know, I, I believe we come from something in somewhere and the energy and the spirit and the entity that we all are. And we are all connected in some very, very special way. And you can put a label on that. You can call it what you want. You can write it down and you can read from that book, whatever you want. You know, I, I feel so much more above what religion is is stipulating. You know what I mean? You're, yeah. you're taking a, an entity of creation and you're, you're putting it literally into a book in which we can't do. <laughs> you know what yeah. I mean? Like, you can, you're you're taking this great power and this great entity, and, and you're you're putting it in a little little tiny box, and you're saying this is mine and this is right. You know what I mean? But and it just it, well, and, it's sad. And it's there are sad. so many different interpretations, and there are so many people picking and choosing what parts they want to believe and which parts they want they don't want. And you know, I'm I'm like you, like I I. I believe in omnism. I believe there is truth found in all faiths. And I believe that sure. if that faith brings something to you, then it's right for you. But um, Jess just pointed out, what happened to loving your neighbor? That part seems to go missing a lot. Um, I hate when people are just like, I'm, ju I'm just doing, I'm thinking of the children. You're doing a bomb threat because you're thinking of the children. That's right. not thinking of the children. That's thinking um, of the kids. Yeah, that that's horrifying. Like, if you have to scare kids to believe what you believe, that's not a great look. No. Like, drag queens aren't doing that. No. I'm sorry. We're not mm -hmm. trying to convert anybody to the, you know, religion of Vita Boem. No. And Julie Andrews played Peter Pan, for God's sakes. There are so many women who have played Peter Pan. Like Peter Pan is almost exclusively played by a woman. Um, yeah. When, yeah. Um, oh, Alanya's got one. Ask them about how Jesus actually taught and if they followed that. And if the message is hate, it's not from God. That, like, I don't want to get into a, a theological debate, but um, yeah, hey. like, Jesus taught love. Jesus, like, there, somebody posted a meme recently that was Jesus coming back to earth and so many people calling him like dirty liberal, we don't believe you, blah, blah, blah. That's what would happen. For all we know, the second coming happened and he got written off. Did I miss the bus again? <laughs> I guess. I don't know. Yeah, I saw a meme about that too. It was something, I forget how it was worded. Um mm -hmm something about it says love everybody and mm -hmm. someone in the crowd was like even drag queens and jesus is like yes, yes even even those who ask stupid questions <laughs> yes. yep. exactly so, <sighs> um, may the odds be ever in your favor dear right i just saw the hunger games comment um God is a woman. I did that song last week in Penn State uh, for the Jewish holiday of Pearl. Nice. Check that out. <laughs> you know, I made a, a flipping comment a minute ago, and I just had to look it up, the, the Church of Vita Boem. And I thought, you know, there are four steps to being a drag queen. And these are actually some really <laughs> good life lessons. Like, one, may good thoughts be your sword and shield. Absolutely. Two, ignore adversity. Gotcha. Three, abide mm. by the rules of love. I love that. Four, larger than life is just the right size. That's it. That's, That's the it. rules to life. Larger than life is just the right size. Exactly. Well, I love that. Hallelujah.
<laughs> Hallelujah. Well, we've got about a half an hour left. Um, I have not gotten a message from Scarlett. I hope she is She's okay. not coming. I told her not to come. Oh, you did? Okay, good. I'm just kidding. Um, I hope she's all right. Um, right. But do you want to talk about Derek's helpful drag tip? Yes. It yes. will spark controversy, I'm sure. Oh, because we haven't been heated up at all tonight. <laughs> all righty. So Derek's helpful drag tip for tonight is if you take a booking for a show with a theme, do the damn theme or make way for someone who will. Showing up with a suitcase full of dance outfits and deviating from the theme or fully not participating makes you look foolish, weakens the show, and sells the audience a false bill of goods when they paid for a ticket and arrived with expectations. Exactly. So like, some drag shows aren't for everybody, but there are particular themes that draw in a different style of crowd because they're fans of whatever that theme happens to be. So, for example, if if it is a if it's a Christmas show, <laughs> yeah, and you do Halloween numbers, unless it's the night before, never before Christmas, let's do something yeah. else. Yeah. If the theme if is the theme rock is and comedy, roll, if the theme oh, is yeah. comedy, or, I don't or do if, comedy. If, if the theme is comedy and you show up and do regular things and, and you're just like, well, I don't do comedy. Well, you shouldn't have been booked in the show, number one. And if you don't take that opportunity to see it as a chance to grow your character, especially as an entertainer, you should always be looking for new things to try because you don't want to oh. get stale. You don't want to be a one trick pony. You know what I mean? And if you're getting paid good money to follow a theme then you should support that theme and the other girls in the cast who are probably spending time and money making new things, new mixes, new costumes uh, to fit that theme. So I want to call my girl out, but she already knows who she is. So. Yeah. <laughs> it's I, all good. Like, we're, doing, we're doing a comedy show for Divas Down Under, and I do comedy a lot. So I'm even trying to push myself to come up with new stuff for that show. Um, and I'm very excited. I'm doing a bluey number. <laughs> You're doing bluey. I'm doing something uh, for bluey. Um, I wanted to do a number from The Sims. Um, oh. because several artists have recorded songs in the Sim language, and I just can't learn them. I'm sure. <laughs> like I was learning "Don't You" by the Pussycat Dolls, and I it's it won't sink in. Like, it's weird. Um, oh. we're, but we were talking about, like, themes for the rest of the year. And we have another one coming up. And I got super inspired. So I'm yeah. learning a song in Russian for it. What theme is that? Cosplay. Who are you going to be? I'm going to be Yelena from the Marvel movies. Black Widow's little sister. Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's going to be a superhero night that night. <laughs> Literally, I want to end the number with, I was just about to talk about fallopian tubes. But... <laughs> yeah. Pull with your cock off. <laughs> but yeah, like, theme shows are a great way to push yourself outside your comfort zone. And I love them. Until they get expensive. But, yeah, you know. This I, is true. I always look at my my rack of costumes over here. And I have, like, gowns that are very useful to me. Fun little outfits. And in the back, I have the, God, I got to use that for something. Like, yeah, I have that section, too. <laughs> I have that section, too. It's literally just a little, um, like, I've got, <laughs> I've got a whoopee cushion costume back there that I need to use for something. Oh, you should wear that and do wind beneath my wings. <laughs> oh. That. That. Yep, that's it. 
Did you I ever would love know that, that you're my hero? <laughs> you're everything I wish I could be. <laughs> I could fly higher than an eagle. <laughs> you are the wind beneath my... <laughs> Oh, and transition into making Whoopi. Eve, how dare you? <laughs> I love this so much. But yeah, I have so much shenanigans back yeah, there. I have a Jedi outfit. I have a full Jedi robe that I've never worn. Because I'm a nerd. Aww. Right. I got it for a Star Wars show and then chose other numbers and didn't use it. Well, did you fit the theme, though? I did. What did I do that day? I did Mon Mothma doing Run the World. Um, what was my other number for that? Well, and there's ways to be clever about themes. Like, I did a pirate-themed show, and I came out and I did the opening number from Goonies dressed as Cindy Lauper. That's fantastic. See, that has a, a storyline to it. Yeah. May 4th performance anywhere. So that is my first day of rehearsal in New Jersey. Um, so I was asked to do a Star Wars theme show at Dragon Distillery in Frederick, Maryland. But I am already in Jersey at that point. So I had to say no. Um, May 4th, I heart. will be in Hanover. Hanover? Yeah, um, Alizé is putting together a benefit show at McAllister's on York Street uh, right. in Hanover, um, benefiting Hanover Pride. And then the next day, we are doing a, a huge Cinco de Mayo uh, drag brunch at the Hanover Markets. So Fun. It's going to be good. It's going to be a good time. Yeah, she asked me about that, and I was like, I can't. Because we have divas Hanover. the night before. and We do. We do. So, That's um, going to be a long weekend. Yep. I'm moving all of my stuff to New Jersey during the week and oh. then um, coming back to do Divas. And then when Divas is done, I am coming home, sleeping for a couple hours, waking up at six in the morning to get to rehearsal. Six in the morning. Mm. Uh, director's meeting starts at 9 a.m. So I got to be there. I'll message you in the morning. I'll be awake slapping it on, you know. Nice. My goal for New Jersey this year is to not take my typical drag. I'm just taking Lady Viola, which means the pads okay. are staying home. God bless a skirt like that. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. And even when I don't wear the skirt, I have matching pants that also have that shape. So. Oh, how lovely. Josh just said, whoopee cushion costume. Uh, do a parody of Celine Dion. My fart will go on. It's all coming back to me now. Ah. <laughs> Hi, Candy Pop. Hi, Candy Pop. Oh, it's Candy watching. She's watching that little shit. Hi, girl. I love you. <laughs> oh, my God. If you get a chance to do that show at the, the candle shop, it is so fun. Okay. I'll have to do it. Yeah, I'm. She don't call. They, she don't write. She don't <laughs> care. We did. We did that show, and they let us make our own candles, and you get to pick and choose. Cultivated Essentials is the name of the venue. A uh, huge shout out to them because they were so fun. There she is. Um, but we like they have a whole wall of different scents. So I grabbed strawberry patch, and um lemon pound cake and i mixed those two scents together i made i made fruity pebbles oh nice it's so oh and it's got like that nice little earthiness to it okay yeah and that's in hanover right yep such a fun venue okay right mm. <laughs> Candy's like, I've been trying to get Amethyst so bad. She has. <laughs> she has. She's like, can you? I'm like, nope. Can you do this? Nope. Right. Well, we're booked nope. out early. Like, and it sucks, but you know, I I'm my July just filled up. Yes. 
Like yes, please don't ask me about Pride Month. Oh, Pride yeah, Month is Pride closed. Month. Gone. Pride Month is shut down. Hi, uh, Phyllis. So many people popping in tonight. I love that. Ah, uh, so we've got Get your husband. Uh, right. Get your husband. I, I have no control over what is going on. Contributing. That's his part of the show. All lives matter. That and the, stop it. <laughs> um, you know, we could do another helpful drag tip. There's more. He, he wrote another one earlier, and I wasn't quite sure if it was the right one for tonight. But <laughs> since since we have some downtime, yeah. Because this is something I feel like you will feel strongly about. And I like that. Oh, crap. Like You're going to get me fired up again? Sure I am. Do, do, do. Ladies. Another helpful drag tip from Derek. Oh, Just shit. because you see other people posting online about running for a pageant and there is excitement in the air about it doesn't mean you have to run for it. Pageantry is a major investment in time, effort, and money when done correctly. Make sure you are doing it for the right reasons. Doesn't mean you have to run for it. So he's saying, like, the seeing someone else being excited, being excited about running for a pageant makes them also want to sign up and do it? I think it's more, hey, I see people signing up for this. I'm going to do it. Like, I've seen girls who are just like, oh, that person's running? Well, they're not competition for me, so I'm going to go get it. That's targeted, huh? Boy, that's targeted. I, you might as well. It? Honey, you could have you could have added, oof, anyway. Um, <laughs> there are a few names I could have put there, but I didn't. Hey. Um, Hi, Eileen O'Brennan. <laughs> what? No, she's watching. That was, that was <laughs> not I was like, together. Because that is not who I would have thought of. <laughs> For the record, that was not tied together. I stand with Eileen O'Brennan. <laughs> right? No, I those, love Eileen. Those two were not related. <laughs> I looked down and seen her name. Eileen, I need you to get yourself a, a lovely, like, cute little, like, overall dress, but, like, do, like, white splotches all over it and perform Come on Eileen. I'm surprised she hasn't yet. Me too. <laughs> That's waiting for you. Right? You should do Comedy Queen. Eileen, I, I would love to see you do Comedy Queen. I think you would do extremely well in Comedy Queen. You're oh, funny. Yeah. And you're creative. So, yeah. You're hilarious and you're glamorous. And that's a great combination. Glamorous. Glamorous. You are hilarious. Hilarious. Way to ruin the surprise for Divas I'm Down Under. Sorry. Really? Are you doing that? Shut up. <laughs> she could borrow the dress Alizé stoned for me. <laughs> oh my god. Accurate. <laughs> Alizé stoned me another dress for me right now. Yes, she is. Yes, she <laughs> is. Oh, for God's sake. We need sakes. more comedy queen <laughs> prelims on the East Coast. I agree. I always, I, I've thought about running for comedy queen. I just, I know what goes into it. And I'm always like, not right now. Like, yeah. one of these days I'm I think going that, to. That just I... happened. Didn't it just happen, comedy queen? I think so. I don't hear much about it mm -hmm. anymore. Um, and I think that's just because our area doesn't really have a prelim right now. <laughs> Wow, Derek, up yours. What happened? The, the dress that Alize was making for me. Oh. It was an honest mix-up. The fact that the dress looks like it's covered in rhinestone cum stains. It's fine. It's totally fine. Um. Yeah, uh, Comedy Queen. Comedy Queen did a femme competition as well. I think they do a king as well. Um, yeah, the closest one is Virginia. I don't we, know. We used to have a northeast. Um, 
I don't know who the last promoter was for that. I know Fancy was a promoter. Um, I know Matthew Thomas was a promoter at one point. Um, because they kept on trying to yeah, get me to run for it. Miss him. But yeah, I don't know what he's up to lately. I don't see him post on Facebook anymore. Um No. I haven't talked to him in a while. Yeah. I think he was I don't know. I I don't know. I, uh, 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 it's okay, Jade. Don't worry, honey. I got this. Red and wild. That's your theme. <laughs> red and wild. Or black and white and red all over like the newspaper. Exactly. I was real popular Derek is... with St. Bernadette's. <laughs> with the worst reputation. <laughs> <laughs> Greece. Drag movie. Right there. Chatra G. Gregorio. Very drag. Very drag. Very drag. With a name Saint like Bernadette. Chatra G. Gregorio. Yeah. Right. I saw hmm. the girl that plays Marty did something at the the Rydell High recently. Derek is I don't know what's going on downstairs. Um, I don't either. Derek would like to point out to those of you with blueberry allergies, do not get chocolate chip mini muffins. He got a box of ones? chocolate chip mini muffins. I opened the first one. The whole box is full of blueberry. And I'm thrilled because I love those. It's not mold. <laughs> no, it's just, they're blue. Like, it's the ones with the little bags of them inside. They're all blueberry, but the box is I chocolate. Oh, I love those. They are really good. Right? Put them in uh, the microwave for like 10 seconds. Oh. Right. Derek pointed out something that's kind of a draggy movie, but not really. Um, her theme is blush and bashful. When oh, I put this direct. outfit on, I literally, for a moment, I was like, I am Weezer at the funeral. Here, hit this. We can sell <laughs> You are a pig from I hell. You're a pig from hell. We could sell t-shirts. Are, are you high, Malian? <laughs> <laughs> we could have handed out shirts that said, I hit Weezer Boudreaux. <laughs> Don't talk about me like I'm not here. <laughs> I yeah, I wish there were not such stipulations on that show being performed by drag artists because uh -huh. I would love to do that show with an all drag cast but I know the author does not want that to be done um, unless things wants to take a whack of Lisa <laughs> right <laughs> wait who doesn't want who doesn't want drag done uh, the author of Steel Magnolias has a clause uh, in the script, I believe, that says that show cannot be done by drag artists. It's legal. Unless that changed. Um, I'm going to do it. I''m I mean, there are people... It. Drag version of Steel Magnolias on hold after licensing issue. That was back in 2011, though. Everybody wants to talk, don't they? Everybody got something to say. Yep. Well, and I mean, Everybody? like, the author's reasoning for it, from what I understand, is um, the characters are so over the top that they don't want them to become too campy. And I'm like, I get that. I totally do. Um, they do know Dolly Parton's in that movie, right? All right, that. Um, they dig. That's one thing we we said to Scarlett the other night. She put on this blonde wig, and we were like, "A nail? Would you shove your Bible where the sun does not shine?" A nail. <laughs> I would love to play Malin. Yes, I think you'd be great at her. Do like have that full meltdown cry. I cried during oh. Divas. Like, I love doing numbers where I'm just, like, full, like, here it comes. Ah. It's happening. Right. I'm oh, you think, crying. Oh, you think I'm just the funny girl? Is that... Uh, Tika. Tika. She's she so looks, excited. She is very happy. Tika. Eh. 
That was the mom. Love me. Love me. <laughs> okay, I'm bye. too busy. I'm too busy being cool, mom. She is being a cool girl. <laughs> your cat is so cute. Oh. <laughs> Don't cover your sister car in rubbers. It's tacky. It's tacky. <laughs> Oh, now I want to, I might have to do some research on Steel Magnolias. Right. Why that not? Would be fun. That'd be a hard show to do with drag artists. But I think. What shows do you have coming up? What do I have coming up? I have coming up? Yeah. Um, I've got Divas Don't Under. Yeah. Um, awesome. There is a nice little benefit show for Gettysburg Pride that I yeah, am a part cool. of. On April 13th. 13th. Yes. April 13th, uh, that I will be out with this lovely creature beside me. It's so nice. It's going to be fun. I'm excited about that. The first one went really well. Um, Good. So, what it is, everybody, if you'd like to buy tickets, tickets are limited. It is at the Gettysburg Community Theater. Um, it will be Saturday, April 13th at 8 p.m. So it's an early, more of an early evening show. Um, so we are raising money for the 8th annual uh, Gettysburg Pride Festival this year. I'm the reigning Miss Gay Gettysburg. So um, I'm doing my duty to raise some money for the festival. Um, we have a great lineup of people. Jade will be there. Alizé will be there. We have three kings and three queens. So it's it's a nice even show for everybody. Chase will be there. Uh, we also have Joey Morgan making a return to the stage after a very long time, which is awesome. And we nice. have a brand new king. Um, their name is Bodacious. So it's going to be a good, good time. Bodacious has been performing with Central PA uh, Dragon Variety. Yes. Um, I started following him on TikTok just recently, and he is fantastic. He is very nice. Very, very nice. And Candy Bar from Harrisburg, Queen from Harrisburg, will oh. be joining us again as well. Amazing. I thought I had that, that poster uploaded, but apparently I did not for some reason. That's okay. Just go on my page. It's full of advertisements for all kinds of things. Right. What else do you have going on coming up? Oh, my goodness. So um, I have a private gig tomorrow. I can't talk about that because in case they're watching. Um, <laughs> Friday, I am in uh, Rehoboth Beach, Delaware at the Blue Moon with our sister Roxy Overbrook. I have no idea who else I'm performing with, um, but I will be performing with Roxy. Uh, Friday at the Blue Moon in Rehoboth Beach, Delaware. Saturday, I will be at the Firm. P H E R M. Um, it's a brewery in Maryland. Check the page. Sunday, I have Easter dinner with the family right here. Uh, Chez moi, uh, Mikasa at my house. There, three different languages for you. Um, yeah. Um, what else do I got coming up? What else is going on in my world? I know our next episode of Inside the Drag Closet is going to be wild. Um, That's on the 10th. That is. And it's going to push us outside our... It's going to be a very different episode because we are going to be joined by the lovely Miss Kimberly Danita. Um, oh, yeah. And she will be accompanied by two ASL interpreters. That's going to be fun. It's going to be. It's going to be very cool. I'm excited for it. It's going to be fun. Um, I had to program a completely different layout to add the interpreters for us. So, Oh, really? Mm -hmm. It's going to be neat. It's And we have had people ask us before if we have thought about bringing in interpreters before. And we haven't yet. I know Facebook does captions and um, uh, YouTube does captions as well. But those are not always reliable. So... <laughs> Yeah, there's a glitch in the matrix sometimes with those things. Exactly. Um, but yeah. <laughs> I love a good piece of ass when Weezer gives Drum the armadillo cake. Yep. Another deaf drag artist. I actually don't know if Kimberly is deaf. Um, that never actually Kimberly came Danita? up. Yeah. No. No, she's not. Okay. I didn't think so. Um, 
Uh, we competed together uh, last year for Miss Glamour Girl. Oh, gotcha. Very cool. Yeah, she reached out about doing an episode like this, and her and I put our heads together a little bit and brainstormed, and I think it's very yeah. important. Absolutely. Of course it is. Exactly. Um, And our guest after that is the incredible Sneka Diamond. Never heard of her. I know. Hmm. Um, <laughs> that's the night we're going to just stuff our faces with food while here. Oh, God. Do I have to be a woman that night? Oh, it's going to be so embarrassing. You have to be a woman. And mom's going to be here. Oh, no. Yep. We're going to tell her the show starts at 6. For those who don't know, our drag mother likes to take her time. That's how I'm going to word that. <laughs> Time likes to take her. <laughs> it does. <laughs> but yeah, we're going to have uh, just wonderful desserts all night from the incredible Choco L'Amour. <laughs> Sonika's like, tell her 2.30 p.m. Done. I mean, yeah, yeah, the day before. The day before. We'll Thanks. all get ready here. Luckily, there's no body. Like, none of us have to put on body for that. Thank God. Yeah, we'll be sitting at my dining room table. I'm going to be in sweatpants and a inside the dry closet hoodie. Right. Just looking like a bunch of fat bitches shoveling food in our faces, loving life and not caring. Not giving a whole shit. Yep. Going to be Hooper fun. Scripts. <sighs> we vented tonight and that was good. We need more of that. We do. Much more of that. We do have one more episode that is just you and I. Uh, that will be May 8th. I... I'm just guessing. Let me double check. Um, that will be May 8th. <clears throat> May 8th. Yep. Which is a um, week after Poison's birthday. Is it really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. She, she just told us how old she was and none of us ever knew. 93. 93 years old. She's looking great. Fabulous. Right. <laughs> Derek Same said he might even now. take our Christmas tree down by then. You still have your damn tree up. Sure do. That's okay. I got Christmas decorations outside. <laughs> nice. They're pretty. <laughs> yeah, we've got... It, it's It's slowly sinking in how, like, I leave in about a month. Like, it's time again for us to hibernate. <clears throat> yep. And we'll um, be doing anything but. You know who we should have on as a guest sometime? No. Anna Chobanoff, my sister. Happy birthday, Anna. Right? She is turning 25 today. Oh, to hell with her then. <laughs> right? Right in the face. Right like... in the. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yep, she's turning hey. 25 today. We'll have her on for a 420 episode. Never heard of it. Nope. It's April. Do we have an episode on 420? No, we don't, because that's a Saturday. Yeah. But are we on the 16th or the 17th, whatever that is? We are on the 17th. Are we? No, we're not. No, we're not. 24th, the 10th and the 24th. Well, close enough. That's, that's the mukbang okay. night. Oh, that's going to... Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's going to be a... That's going to be a thing. I'm going to have extra lashes on that night. This is amazing. I love... Yeah. Really good. It's really good. Every time I do that, I'd start turning into Jennifer Coolidge. Wow, God. <sighs> that's amazing. Ah, <laughs> this is what if you, pay you for, kids. <laughs> If you would like to help inside the drag closet, you know, we still have <laughs> some merch available. <laughs> I always forget to talk about the merch, even though we still have the drag is not a crime shirt, which oh, I need is very poignant right now. Uh, these are the Derek calls this the devoted drag sisters line. I love that, I love that picture. I like, really do. Like, and that's that was legit a picture of the two of us just backstage at Divas Down Under one night. Yep. So good. Look at that coffee mug. Oh, my nerves. 
right? And it's on both sides. Is it? Yep. The coffee mugs are $15 each. The t-shirts are $25. The hoodies are $35. And the sticker packs are seven. I'm going to order it right now. Nice. Right now. And you should, too. Exactly. Just go right over to www.jadevere.com slash merch. That's www.jadevere.com slash merch. And if you would like to join our Patreon, (laughs) we're idiots. If you would like to join our Patreon, just go to patreon.com slash inside the dry closet. Our Patreons help support this show, keep myself and Amethyst working. Huge shout out to all of them. That is Jake, Jesse, Jake, Jess, Lori, Jeremy, Este, Josh, Chanel, Daniel, Robin, Vicky, Emily, and Hutch. Thank you all so much. Won't you join us? Won't you join them in the crusade? It just says Patreon squad. You guys are amazing. Going to need that image sent to me, please, and thank you. The one of the two of us together, Sonika? Yeah. Let me know. That's definitely oh. the one she wants, because she's going to put it on something special. Uh, apparently, my website was down for a, due day, a few days due to a security issue. Oh, yeah, that's going around right now. I told you not to do an OnlyFans. Listen, I wanted to make money. You're right. Please, I was showing her. Biscuits. You know, I I, I want a huge shout out to anybody who actually has an OnlyFans. I would never have the nerve. Like I just, that's that's performance art to the next level. Like I've done shows, like I've done the Mud Show where I was performing in just a pair of shorts, and that was intimidating for me. Like I showed my bare ass in a show once. It was great. What? I was in a production of hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. What? Your bare buns? The in the script, I was supposed to moon the audience. The director was worried about that, so he had me moon the cast. But before I pulled my pants up, I made sure I turned around and then pulled my pants up. And he was like, "That turnaround's getting longer and longer every night." I'm like, "Yeah, it is, isn't it?" We're also not doing the nude scene, so. Let them have something. Yeah, but let them have K. Yeah. Do you want to get rid of the drug references too while we're at it? Um, oh. Oh, hair is a. That show's tough. Like, Problematic. It, 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 well, kind of actually, um, but not like everybody in that show says the N word. Um, but it's it not just says it, but sings it. But it's to point out the okay. problem with stuff. Like it's it, it, mm, it's tough. Um, like the whole like the whole beginning of the second act is basically a drug trip, and so like at one point Abraham Lincoln sings, which is played by a woman of color, while a Caucasian actress is shining his shoes with her blonde hair. Yeah. It's trippy. Yeah. Wow. We should do that in Gettysburg. Um, ah. Why not? <laughs> Why not? I share a birthday with Abraham Lincoln. Uh, yeah, you do. Sure do. Who do you share a birthday with? Einstein. Nice. Jennifer Love Hewitt. Cool. I have Lincoln, Darwin, and I want to say Glenn Close. Glenn Close? I think so. Tara Strong. Josh Brolin and Christina Ricci. Very nice. Yep. Oh, I got some good ones. Celebrity birthday. That's what I just looked up. Aquaria from Drag Race. Didn't realize that. Uh, Latrice Royale from RuPaul's Drag Race. Okay. Wow. 
Anyway. <laughs> anyway. Look it up sometime, kids. Exactly. Well, we have reached just about 10 o'clock. Uh, anything you want to tell the folks, the viewers? Anything you want to get off your chest by, by the end of the show? Yeah, these tits. Um, well, <clears throat> be good people, everybody. Be decent human beings. Stand up for what you believe in. Know the difference between right and wrong. Stay six feet away from each other. Stay 20 feet away from me. You know? <laughs> like, are we just, just the kidding. COVID thing happening again? What's going on? I'm just kidding. We all have a responsibility in this world to be decent human beings. It costs you absolutely nothing, and we all benefit from it. So every time you walk out that door, just remember that you do matter, number one, and, and that you make a difference in this world. And what you do and what you say makes a difference in this world so make sure what you're putting into this world is something that you want to get back because it does come back to you and it comes back to everybody else in the world as well so just be a good human being and treat people the way you want to be treated mind your business and let those that do business mind theirs too you know what i mean so i love you and we'll see you next time i don't have much to add if if be part of the solution don't be part of the problem you know we're mm. all we we're all on this little orb together we have a limited amount of time together make joyful choices make good choices support each other and don't worry don't change. let what makes us different tear us apart that's right so yeah good night everyone <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Inside the Drag Closet. 